What if I told you I recreated an app that makes over $700,000 a month without writing a single line of code? Sounds crazy, right? But I did it. And today, I'm going to walk you through exactly how. From finding the idea to building the app, from zero coding to turning it into a real business, this video is your complete blueprint. Stick around to the end because I'm gonna share the one strategy that turns your traffic into real revenue. It's the same method companies like Amazon, Netflix, and even small creators use to scale to seven figures and beyond. Spoiler, it's not just sending people to a download page. So if you've ever wanted to build your own app, turn your passions into profit, or just escape the overwhelm of not knowing where to start, this is the video I wish I had when I began. Let's get into it. So here's what I started. The biggest challenge for me in the beginning was simple. What kind of app do I even build? Like, what's the idea? And I used to overthink this a lot. I thought I needed some revolutionary tech or world-changing vision. But the truth? You don't need to be Elon Musk to build a winning app. You just need to solve the real problem. And sometimes, the simplest ideas make the most money. Take Linktree. It's literally just a tool to organize your links on one page. You could build that in under an hour today with better design, analytics, even AI integrations. And yet, Linktree pulls in over 37 million per year or 2048. You know that little sliding tile puzzle game? It looks like it was made in middle school computer class, but it went viral over a million dollars a year for a game that takes days to clone or an AI powered logo generator. Just let users type in their company name and some vibes and boom, logos. That's another million a year business. And here's the kicker. Thief aren't isolated cases. There are hundreds of micro apps making bank with simple functionality, pie focus, and just the right audience. So don't get stuck trying to invent the next billion dollar unicorn. Instead, start with one small problem, something you care about, and solve it better than anyone else. These days, finding that problem is ridiculously easy. Just ask ChatGPT, or scroll through your phone and ask, what's missing? What's annoying? What would make this easier? Or look inward. What do you love? What do you wish existed? That's exactly what I did. I asked ChatGPT to show me successful Mish apps. And boom, I discovered a rock identification app making over $700,000 a month. And then a light bulb went off. I remembered something kind of random. My mother-in-law. She's obsessed with bird watching. Like, seriously. She wakes up at 6 a.m., pours a cup of coffee, sits on the porch, and just watches birds for hours. At first, I thought it was just her thing, but then I got curious. So I started digging. Bird watching is a multi-billion dollar industry. It's not just a niche, it's a movement. Tens of millions of people around the world are into this. Some are casual backyard watchers. Others are full-on birding fanatics. And then I found the Merlin Bird ID app. It's massive. Millions of downloads, millions of user reviews, a global audience obsessed with identifying birds. But here's what shocked me the most. This app has zero monetization, no paid plan, no premium features, no AI, nothing. It's basically a Ferrari parked on the side of the road, engine running, keys in the ignition, and nobody's driving it. And that's when it hit me. Success leaves clues. You don't need to guess what people want. Just look at what's already working. The demand is proven. The market is active. The users are engaged. So instead of trying to reinvent the wheel, I asked, what if I took this proven idea and just made it better? Better UX, AI powered features, social sharing, actual ways to grow, retain, and monetize users. That's when everything came together. A modern bird watching app, powered by AI, gamified and monetized from day one. So now I had the idea. The demand was real. The gap in the market was wide open. But there was one massive problem. I didn't know how to write a single line of code. And this part used to crush my momentum. Years ago, I actually spent $5,000 working with an overseas development team on a different app idea. Waited months, had meetings, set revisions, 
And at the end of it, nothing. Piap never worked. Total loss. Back then, if you didn't know how to code, you were stuck. But now, the game has changed. Today, anyone can build an app without writing code thanks to tools like Replit. And when I say anyone, I mean it. If you can type messages on your phone, you can build apps with AI. So what is Replit? Replit is an online workspace where you can build software directly in your browser. No downloads, no setup, no headache. But what makes it next level is their AI integration. It's like having a super smart coding co-founder sitting right next to you, 24 seven. You just tell it what you wanna build and it writes the code. You want a homepage? Type, build me a homepage with a bird search bar and sign up form. Done. You want to identify bird photos using AI? Type it out and it generates the foundation. You can literally talk to it like chat GPT, but instead of just getting answers, it gives you functional, editable, working code. And if something breaks, it explains the error, fixes it, and walks you through the solution. This isn't some futuristic fantasy. This is real, right now. And when I realized how fast I could go from idea to actual working product, I got addicted. You're no longer stuck waiting for someone to build your dream. You are the builder. That's what makes this era so powerful. Whether you're 15 or 55, whether you've never written a line of code, or you're just tired of spinning your wheels, this is the moment where everything changes. I stopped thinking like a non-tech founder, and I started thinking like a creator, a builder, a software entrepreneur. That opened every door. So with the idea locked in and the tools finally on my side, it was time to actually build the thing. But before jumping into Replit, I did something most beginner developers skip entirely, and it's a mistake. I went to ChatGPT and asked it to help me write a PRD, a product requirement document. Think of it like the blueprint of your app. It breaks down what it does, how it works, what features it needs, and what kind of experience you want your users to have. This is where you go from cool idea to this is actually going to happen. So I started brainstorming features, not just ones that sounded cool, but ones that would hook people, keep them engaged, and make the app sticky. Here's what I landed on. First, the core of the app. Snap a photo of a bird and instantly get its profile. Name, species, habitat, behaviors, fun facts. This taps directly into instant gratification. People want answers now, and with AI, they get it. Second, we needed a social layer. Because let's be real, bird watchers love to share what they see. Photos, stories, questions. It's a passionate global community. So we added a feed. Users can upload bird pics, comment on sightings, share discoveries. Now it's not just an app, it's a network. And when people feel seen, heard, and celebrated in a community, they stick around. Third, we added gamification. Users earn badges for rare birds, consistent usage, global spotting challenges, and more. Why? Because it gives people something to chase. Progress, recognition, bragging rights. It's the same psychology that keeps people opening Duolingo, tracking their steps, or checking their streaks. It works. Fourth, I wanted to blow people away by pulling in extra data, like bird sounds, migration patterns, nesting behaviors. So we looked at APIs from other platforms and integrated them. Now when a user identifies a bird, they're getting more than a name, they're getting an experience. And finally, a free trial. I wanted users to feel the magic of identifying birds in real time with zero friction. Because once they feel it, they're hooked. And here's the thing most people miss. All of these features aren't just bells and whistles. They're psychological triggers. Instant gratification keeps them coming back. Social features create identity and belonging. Gamification fuels habit and competition. Rich data makes it feel premium and free trials lower resistance while boosting conversion. I wasn't just building a bird app. I was building a behavior loop. One that keeps users coming back because they want to. And when you do that right, you don't just build an app. You build a movement. So now the app is built. It works. It feels amazing. It's solving a real problem. 
But here's the question that matters most. How do you actually turn this into a million dollar company? Let's break it down. First, pricing. One of the easiest ways to figure this out is to study your competitors. How are they charging? What's working in your niche? Remember that rock identification app I found doing $700,000 a month? If they charge $29 per month after a free trial with a yearly plan around $199, then just do that. You could absolutely mirror that model or tweak it to match the depth of your app. The point is you don't have to reinvent the business model. You just have to plug into one that works. And here's where it gets fun. Let's say your app is $29 per month and your goal is to hit $100,000 per month in revenue. You only need about 3,500 paying users. That's it. Now you've got a number, a target, a mission. And every single day, your job is simple. Get more people to try the app. That's it. Alex Hormozzi says it best. As a founder, your entire job is to bring in new customers. Not eventually, not when the app is perfect. You wake up and the mission is leaves. Talk to users, post content, run outreach, test new channels. Don't overcomplicate the product. Don't hide behind new features. Focus on distribution because the best app in the world is useless if no one knows it exists. This is where most people stall. They build something awesome, then wait for magic to happen. But the truth is you have to drive the growth. And the best part, if you get just a few sales per day in the beginning, the momentum snowballs, revenue grows, user feedback pours in, you improve the product, reinvest and scale from there. So with your target as 100K per month, that number becomes your obsession, not just a dream, but a clear measurable milestone. And once you start building with this level of focus, it's only a matter of time before things take off. Stick around, because next I'll show you how to generate laser targeted traffic that's ready to buy from day one. And I'll share the most overlooked strategy to own your audience and scale your revenue like the pros. So now you've got the idea, the app, the features, the pricing, and the mission. There's just one thing left, traffic. Because without people discovering your app, None of this matters. You can build the best product in the world, but if no one knows it exists, it's dead in the water. So let me give you the single most powerful way I found to get laser targeted traffic that's ready to buy. Start a niche YouTube channel. And I know this sounds overwhelming, but I'm not talking about going viral or becoming an influencer. I'm talking about creating highly relevant value driven content that speaks directly to the people who would use your app. Let me give you an example. I once built a channel with just 4,000 subscribers and it generated millions in revenue. Why? Because every single video was helping people with the exact problem I was solving. No fluff, no random content, just direct value that built trust and funneled traffic straight to my product. If you're building a bird watching app, create videos like Top five bird ID apps. How to identify any bird in under 10 seconds. The rarest bird I've ever identified in my life. Then drop the link to your app in the description. That's it. And because people just watched a helpful, engaging video that solves their problem, they're already warmed up. They trust you. They like you. They're curious. This is permission based marketing and it works like crazy. But now let's take this one step further because here's where you really level up. Most people just send their YouTube traffic directly to their app page or download link. Big mistake. Instead, build an email list. Use a tool like Aweber. Offer something free, a demo, a guide, a bonus feature. Collect their email first, then send them to your app. Here's why this matters. On average, people need to see an offer seven times before they buy. If they visit your app once and bouts, they're gone forever. But if you collect that email, now you can follow up, send updates, share testimonials, offer deals, stay top of mind. And here's the real kicker. Every major company on the planet builds email lists. Amazon, Netflix, Apple, they all collect emails. 
Because owning your audience is the most powerful business asset you can have. YouTube brings the traffic. Email keeps the relationship alive. Together, they make your growth unstoppable. And that's it. That's the full blueprint for turning a simple idea into a real software business without writing a single line of code. We started with nothing but curiosity. Used AI to find a proven market. Built a no-code app using tools like Replit and ChatGPT. Designed features that actually keep people engaged. Mapped out a monetization plan that scales. And tapped into a traffic plus email system that builds trust and drives daily sales. This isn't a fantasy. This is real. This is now. And if you made it this far, you've got everything you need to start today. Every obstacle that used to hold people back, coding, design, marketing, money. It's gone. You're living in the single greatest time in history to build something valuable and turn it into real income. So the only question left is, what are you waiting for? If you've got a passion, a problem to solve, a vision for something better, use the tools, follow the steps, and go build it. Because someone out there is waiting for what you're about to create. And hey, if you want more step-by-step -step breakdowns like this one, or help bringing your idea to life, make sure to hit subscribe, drop a comment with your app idea, and I'll be here to guide you through the journey. You're closer than you think.